School district is looking into leaving the federal school lunch program and starting its own. Local News 8's Chris Nesman is live in Rexburg in front of Madison School District where it's raining cats and dogs. But besides that, Chris, what are their reasons for this proposal? Jay, it's just like it's just like anything else. It comes down to money. Last year, the district had to raise the uh, lunch fees by 25 cents to comply with the federal program. If they want to stick with it, they'd have to raise it by 10 cents again this year. So we started talking and came up with a little bit of a idea that we would look into possibility of possibly getting off of a federal government and becoming our own program. If Madison School District were to go independent, it would be the first in Idaho. Going independent would allow the district to set its own school lunch fees and have more local control over what's served in cafeterias. One concern is the district the district does have would be the loss of federal funding for discounted or free lunches, something the federal program provides for. We haven't gotten that far yet to know what effect that would have. As far as I know, there's Title I funding that's based on free and reduced numbers with the school districts, but they can also get those numbers elsewhere. Now, Keck did say that this was just an idea. There isn't anything finalized, nor will there be for probably at least a year. Reporting live in a very rainy Rexburg, I'm Chris Nestman. <laughs> All right, getting it out of the rain, Chris. Thanks for uh, braving the, the stormy weather there. There are other school districts across the country that are independent of the federal lunch programs, but most have significantly fewer students on assisted lunch programs than Madison.